Welcome to a video that I am way too excited to film. So recently I saw Steph do the new Harry Styles album as books and it was really good. And I was thinking that I wanted to do music to book Rex and I was like, what should I do? And then I was like, One Direction because there's, I know every single song. So there's so many to choose from. And I compiled what I think is a really good list and I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna get right into it. My name is Rainy. If you don't know who One Direction are, you're in the wrong place. So I'm gonna go through some books that I recommend that relate to some of the best One Direction songs. Here we go. Starting off with Moments. Shut the door, turn the light on. I wanna be with you. I wanna see. Perhaps the saddest of the One Direction songs. Um, so naturally, it's gonna go with a sad book. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. Now, I'm gonna tell you how this relates to this without any spoilers for the most part for all of these. I'm gonna try not to do any spoilers. I'll let you know if I accidentally do. So in The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, her husband dies, I think on her birthday. It's either, it's either her birthday or their anniversary, but I think it's her birthday. Her husband dies and she's obviously in a super deep dark depression and she starts to take sleeping pills and when she takes these sleeping pills and goes to sleep, she goes to like this alternate dreamland. Like she's in a dream, but she's kind of like living in this other land as well. Um, and he's alive and she's like living her life with him. It's like an alternate reality thing. Hence the two lives of Lydia Bird. But it just, oh, it just makes me think of moments and it's so sad. So yeah, if you cry to moments and you want to cry to a book, I recommend The Two Lives of Lydia Bird. Next is a song that isn't one of my favorite One Direction songs, but I think it's kind of a fan favorite. That would be Strong. My hands, your hands, tied up like two ships drifting weightless. And for this, I don't really have like, I don't know, I don't have like a super thorough explanation but uh, from Luke Off With Love. I just feel like the bond and like the slow burn between Ivan and Jasmine, I, I, feel, I feel strong, I feel it. From Luke Off With Love is about two figure skaters, Ivan Lukov and Jasmine. Uh, Ivan needs a new partner. Jasmine was dumped by her old partner. Basically, they worked together and they slowly formed this friendship. And I don't know, I just, just the vibe is, is strong vibes. Let me know if you've read this and you agree or read it and then let me know if you agree. So, Strong from Look Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. Next is Girl Almighty. People either wildly love or wildly hate this song. I like it. I hate to like it, but I like it. Um, and for this, I picked Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. And I did that because Girl Almighty just reminds me of like the whole like manic pixie dream girl kind of kind of vibe. Um, and I think Hazel is very much like a lover or hater character much like the song Girl Almighty and she's very like quirky. I really like Hazel but um yeah I feel like she was kind of like the Girl Almighty type. Girl Almighty, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. Now we have one of the best One Direction songs indisputably 18. Now for 18, I picked Love In Other Words by Christina Lauren and People We Meet On Vacation by Emily Henry. Love In Other Words is about these childhood friends to strangers, childhood friends to lovers to strangers to lovers. This girl moves into this house with her dad after her mother passes away and she finds this boy in her closet. He's the next door neighbor and he used to come into the closet to read. Basically the closet becomes like their space. It's where their friendship forms throughout all their years. They start to like have feelings for each other as they grow up. 
um, and then something happens, she doesn't talk to him for years, and they get back in touch with each other and he's like trying to get back into her life but she has her reservations because of things that happened. Same with people we meet on vacation, kind of the same vibe of friends to strangers to friends to lovers. Poppy and Alex are best friends, they go on vacation together and it's like a non-linear timeline like flipping back and forth between the vacations leading up to like their big fallout like you don't know what happens they keep talking about it in the present but you don't know what happens yet and then you you lead up in the vacations to the fallout and what happened and why they haven't talked in so long um and in the present they're on one last vacation poppy's trying to reconcile trying to like get their friendship back on course because she misses him such a great song so 18 love in other words by christina lauren and People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Now for a completely underrated One Direction song. I hated this song when I was younger and then I re-listened to it and it hit completely differently and it makes me cry. Something great. Since Something Great is a kind of underrated song, I picked a kind of underrated book to go along with it that also kind of fits the theme of it. Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. Our main girl Laura is like a hopeless romantic. Her parents fell in love on this island and she's going back there uh, to write an article for the place she works and she's hoping that she can like have a little meet cue and then her suitcase gets swapped with another guy and she's like oh my gosh this guy is perfect. He has like the stuff I like in here, like we use the same, I don't know, they like, they used the same things. He had like a Phil Collins uh, sheet music book and she loves Phil Collins, stuff like that. She recruits this taxi driver on the island to drive her around to these places um, for her article, but she's also like on the lookout for her mystery guy. Yeah, she is just looking for something great. She just wants this cute little me cute romance and I thought Something Great was perfect for this. And if you like Something Great, you'll like this book. So Something Great, Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. Next, most of these songs are sad. Most of these are sad One Direction songs. And we have perhaps one of the saddest of them all, maybe just behind moments, we have Spaces. For Spaces, I went with You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. You Deserve Each Other is possibly my favorite romance book, rom-com book of all time. Um, it's a marriage in peril about Nicholas and Naomi. Basically, they meet and they're all about each other. And then Naomi starts to feel like he is like trying to manipulate their situation. They're not married their fiancés but she thinks that he's trying to like cut off or get her to cut off the engagement um so she starts trying to get him to cut off the engagement and it's just like a back and forth not quite miscommunication but maybe uh but i really love this book and i really love the song spaces but yeah it it has that spaces vibe of like who's gonna be the first to say goodbye spaces you deserve each other, Sarah Hogel. Even just talking about this song makes me want to cry, which is fitting because even just talking about this book makes me want to cry. So the song, Once in a Lifetime. The Dinner List by Rebecca Searle. Rebecca Searle is one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author. Um, everything she does is magic to me. I love it. Uh, so I went with Once in a Lifetime for this because it is about a girl named Sabrina and she, you know how people ask you like, if you could have dinner with five people dead or alive, who would it be? Her list actually happens. She walks into her birthday dinner and her list is there. And it's like, um, her best friend who she's kind of growing distant from, her dad, um, her favorite college professor, Audrey Hepburn, and her ex-boyfriend. And once in a lifetime is just so good because number one, that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to like actually have your, 
your dinner list come to life, especially with like someone who is a famous passed away movie star like Audrey Hepburn. The kind of people that only come around like once in a lifetime and like your experiences and relationships with them are once in a lifetime. It's just such a good fit. If you've read the book, you know. If you haven't, read it so you know. I recommend this even if you don't love the song Once in a Lifetime, but if you do, it'll just, it'll really, really hit differently. Once in a Lifetime, The Dinner List by Rebecca Searle. Now, this is the, the single most underrated One Direction song, and that's because a lot of people don't even know about it. It was released as a single, before Made in the AM. A lot of people don't even know it exists because it's just a single, it's not on an album, it was never put on an album. Um, and so I think this book is also underrated. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, the song is Home. It is so good. It just makes me feel happy and fuzzy and warm and a little bit sad, just like this book, The People We Keep by Alison Larkin. Uh, this book, not only did like, do they give me the same like fuzzy feelings, but this book is kind of about like finding your home, finding a new home, kind of like a found family, um, figuring out where you belong kind of thing. So this is about April. She lives in a trailer park uh, with her dad, but her dad is like living with his new girlfriend now and caring about like her child and it's kind of abandoned April and she's like, I'm getting out of here. So she plays music. She, um, that's all she really cares about is like her music. She flees her town and it's just her like journey, stopping place to place, finding new people, just her struggling with like keeping in contact with people from her old life and then starting her new life. She goes through a lot of pretty crazy things, some crazy relationships and friendships, and it's just her journey with trying to find her place in the world. And it's such a good book. I love it so much. And if you have a special affinity for home like I do, you should read this. Home, The People We Keep, Alison Larkin. Last but certainly not least, we have another twofer. Um, it's another like bittersweet, sad song, of course. Um, that's just my vibe, but we have Summer Love. So for Summer Love, I went with The Summer of Broken Rules, which is a five-star read for me, love it, and Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. I picked both of these obviously because they both take place in the summer and there's a summer love that goes on, but it's kind of deeper than that. They're both, I can describe both of these books as a girl goes to like an islandy beach town and meets a guy who is kind of the only person to really like see her and understand her and then something crazy goes down and they have to work through that before the end of the summer, kind of. The Summer of Broken Rules, we have Meredith, her sister passed away, who was like her best friend. Um, she's finally going back to Martha's Vineyard. Her whole family just like gets together for the summer and they play Assassin. And she finally goes back, they play Assassin again and her sister was like the undisputed champion. And so she's like, I'm gonna win. Well, this, this guy appears. Oh, they're all there because her cousin's getting married also. Her cousin's soon-to-be husband's stepbrother is the guy that she gets involved with and they like become secret partners in Assassin and then she finds out some secrets of course. It's so lighthearted and cute and cozy. And then Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover is about a girl named Bea. She is the product of a one-night stand. Her parents never um, had anything to do with each other. She would go and see her dad when she was younger. He would send money and stuff. Her mom was a drug addict. Her dad never knew. She never told him. Her mom overdoses. And so she tells her dad that she needs to stay with him, but she doesn't tell him that her mom passed away. So she goes and stays with him in Galveston. It's a big reason that this book has such a soft spot. I mean, it's a really good book anyway, but it has a soft spot because it's Galveston and I love Galveston. She goes and stays with him and she has this uh, 
this new stepmom and stepsister and her stepsister and her stepsister's boyfriend are hanging out with this guy named Samson. And Bea and Samson just click, they connect in a way that she hasn't with anybody really. And of course, some um, crazy stuff happens because that's just, just the way it goes. Both of these have that like summertime, you understand me and I don't want this to end at the end of summer kind of thing that I think connects pretty well with Summer Love. Both great books, great song, uh, Summer Love, Heartbones by Colleen Hoover and The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. Okay, and that wraps it up. That is all the recommendations that I have. Uh, this was really fun. I liked doing this. I want to do more possibly with Sabrina Carpenter's new album, maybe with some Five Seconds of Summer songs. I don't know, something I'm like really familiar with. Yeah, this was super fun. I like this. Let me know if you liked it because I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, I love music and I love books. So putting them together and like having them interconnect like really scratches my brain. Let me know your favorite One Direction song. Let me know what One Direction songs you correlate with books. Other than that, follow my bookstagram and I'll see you next time. Bye! Look at them.